story time, people. Thank you for joining me for story time, friends, today. We are doing Earth Day today, and I have a fun Earth book. It's more about this funny little rabbit who wants to dig down to the center of the earth and maybe even further, maybe she can dig to China or somewhere. So that's my story today. And then I also have a cool rap. Are you guys ready to jam with Miss Crystal about the planet earth? The planet earth, that's right. We're gonna do a rap with that. But first, can you help me do our hello song? Yeah, all right, put your hand up there. Hello friends, hello friends, hello friends, it's time to say hello, yay! So good at that, it's nice to see you guys pulling that with just all of that energy. All right, what about your glasses? Do you have your glasses with you today? Now we're doing circles again because the planet Earth is a circle, right? Yeah. So we'll just pretend that we're having two big round blue circles on our eyes today. What about our books? Can you make your books? Yeah, put your hands together. Good job. All right, I wonder what is in our book today. Ooh. Oh my goodness, there's a bunch of water. Hurry, close it up so it doesn't spill out because the earth is covered with all kinds of beautiful blue water. Let's see here. Let's try it one more time. Let's see, maybe there's something else in there. Open it back up. Whoop. Oh my goodness, there's all kinds of grass and it's tickling my fingers, hurry, close it up. Grass, it's green, right? Yeah, blue water and green grass all over the planet Earth. All right, help me sing, I can see you guys doing it. These are my glasses, this is my book. I put on my glasses and open up my book. Now I read, 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 and I look, muck, muck. I put down my glasses and oh, close up my book. Wow, I think I just splashed myself with all that water that's in our book today. All right, so let's get started on our story. It's Rosalind Rutabaga. Isn't that a cool name for a bunny rabbit? and the biggest hole on earth. Have you guys ever dug, dug, dug until you can try to dig no more? Oh, really? I did that when I was a kid. I dug a hole about three feet deep and then I was just like, yeah, this is just enough. Didn't make it to, didn't make it to the other side of the world, but it was really neat, some of the cool stuff that I dug up. And I think that's what Rosalind is gonna end up doing too. But this was written, by Marie, Marie Louise Gay. And guess what? This, we got special permission from the publisher. Groundworks Books gave us permission to read this book to you guys today and all the fun illustrations that are in it. Let me see if you guys can see. This is Rosalind and there's her big hole right there. And I really like this picture. You see the world? Yeah. And it's got Rosalind digging on it. Ah! Maybe we should, maybe I can go out in the library yard and start digging today and see what I can dig up out there. Maybe, I think so. All right, so I'm gonna show you the pictures while I read, okay? Rosalind Rutabaga woke up with a plan. Today, she would dig the biggest hole on earth. That's gonna be huge, right? I think so. Of course, she has to get out of bed first. Not a tiny mouse hole, not a medium-sized rabbit hole, but the biggest hole on earth. Maybe she would dig right down to the other side of the world. Maybe she would find a pirate's treasure. Who knows? Anything could happen. Oh, maybe we could find a dinosaur bone. Oh, wouldn't that be cool? So Rosalind, she thumped, whoops, thump, 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 down the stairs to breakfast. Oh, ooh, doesn't that look good? What does that look like right there? Yeah, what do you think Rosalind is munching on? I'm thinking maybe carrot ball crunches, maybe. Let's find out. 
what are you going to do today, Rosalind? Asked her father. Rosalind munched loudly on her. Mmm, carrot flakes. I'm going to dig the biggest hole on earth, she announced. Sounds like a good idea, said her father. I might dig all the way to China or even to the South Pole. I really, 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 really want to meet a pink one. Well, you better take a sweater because it gets pretty cold at the South Pole. Do you guys have a sweater to take with you if in case we go to the South Pole? I think we're going to need it today, maybe. Let's see here. Well, will you be back in time for lunch, called her father. Oh, of course, I'll be hungry, answered Rosalind. And she ran outside. Rosalind looked around for the perfect spot to dig the biggest hole on earth. Big and strong, so big, so huge. But not a place that was gonna to be too rocky, not near the oak tree, and definitely not near her father's prize-winning carrot bed. Aha, thought Rosalind, right here in the middle of the carrot bed. That's not the carrot bed. It's right in the middle of the yard right there. X marks the spot. X marking the spot is always a good place to start digging. There might be buried treasure. All right, so then she started to dig Whoa there, what in the world do you think you're doing? Said the little worm. What, what, you're, um, I, uh. and Rosalind said, I'm digging the biggest hole in the world. So huge, so big, ginormous. But, but, but this is my front yard, said the worm. You, you can't dig a big hole in my front yard, you silly rabbit. And Rosalind blushed. I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry, sir. I'll, I'll dig somewhere else. And the worm muttered angrily as he wiggled back into the earth. And Rosalind carefully filled the hole back up. Oh. You really have to be careful while you dig. There's lots of animals that live underground, right guys? See, there's worms, there's little bugs. What other creatures are we gonna find maybe that live under the ground? Let's see. So she started digging in another spot near the fence. She dug and dug and dug, and then out popped Mole right there. You see Mole right there? Yeah, he popped out and he blinked because the sunlight hurt his eyes. Mm, what are you doing in my bedroom? I'm digging the biggest hole on earth. Huge, ginormous, great big hole. But, but what are you, what, but what on earth for? Asked the mole. I want to go to the South Pole because I want to meet a pink one, said Rosalind. Do you think she's ever going to meet a pink one? I'm not so sure. Oh, now you've got to listen, said the mole. I dig holes all the time. Small ones, big ones. I'm a whole specialist. And I can tell you, there are no penguins down here. That's because he hasn't dug the biggest, most hugest hole in the whole world, thought Rosalind. <gasps> hmm. You woke me up. Now I'm in a real bad mood, said the mole. I am so dreadfully sorry, said the mole, or said Rosalind. I'll dig somewhere else. Hmm, penguins. Huh, what next? You're going to look for elephants? And he burrowed back into his sandy bed. And in a moment, he was snoring. <laughs> Rosalind sighed. Hmm, this was not going to be easy, she thought. 
this is getting rough. You just can't dig anywhere, can you? You have to really figure out where you want to dig your holes. So Rosalind decided, yes, she did. She was going to dig a hole near the lilac bush. She looked around. No one was in sight. She stomped the ground. Let's see here. Oh, no worm. Oh, and no, there was no mole either. There was, huh? She dug and she kept digging and she kept digging and she dug and dug and dug. And all you could see were the very tip tops of her little ears. Do you see her little ears right there? Yeah. Oh, that's a really deep hole now. What did she find? Did she find? Oh, this will be the biggest hole in the whole world. Ginormous, gigantic, so big. People will line up to admire it. She dug faster. Maybe I'll find gold. Maybe I'll find a dinosaur. Rosalind cried. She examined the bone and Rosalind was so excited. She was going to be famous. Oh, a movie star even. Maybe they would ask her to go and be on the news. I am sure that this is a triceratops. Big toe bone. Oh, that would be huge. They have big feet. Uh-oh. It's not. I buried that bone last week. I got it at the butcher shop. And I know he doesn't sell dinosaur bones. Oh. Rosalind threw the bone at the dog. Thanks barked the dog. And, and could you mind, could you dig somewhere else? You're, you're wrecking my bone yard. This is where I keep my bones. <sighs> Rosalind laid at the bottom of the hole. She sighed heavily. She would never dig the biggest hole in the world ever. So big. So huge, so ginormous. My, 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 said Rosalind's father. This must be the biggest hole in the universe. Rosalind, are you down there? Yeah. I can hardly see you. You must be hungry. Are you ready for lunch? <sighs> okay, answered Rosalind, but could you bring me a sweater? It's really cold here at the South Pole. Do you think she made it to the South Pole? Maybe the South Pole for her, huh? Do you think penguins like carrot sandwiches? I don't know, asked her, answered her father. As soon as we see one, we'll ask them. Rosalind smiled. She couldn't wait to meet a penguin. Do you think there's gonna be any penguins there? Well, I'm gonna let you in on a secret. Guess what? There is a penguin in our book and I think she did dig the biggest hole on earth. So huge, so big, so ginormous, such a big hole. I don't think I could dig a hole that big. Do you guys? Yeah, no. We might get in trouble if we start digging a hole anywhere. So maybe we better be careful and not dig any holes. All right, so are you ready for a cool rap? Now you can join in, but I'm telling you, it's like a tongue twister for Miss Crystal, but it's about the planet Earth. That's right, the Earth, and we are all related. That's right. This is my pretty picture. I love this picture. I have it hanging on my wall near my office. And it's got animals all the way around it that live in different places. There's a whale that lives in the ocean, a giraffe that lives in Africa. Of course, there's a, there's a giraffe here in, in Florida too. Have you guys ever been to the zoo? 
Yeah, there's giraffes here too. There's an elephant, there's monkeys. Oh, ooh, there's a jellyfish, a bear. There's all kinds of different animals that live all over the planet Earth, just like we do. And we have to take care of it. That's one th fun thing about Earth Day is we learn new things of how to take care of ourselves. So are you ready for my wrap? All right, I'm gonna show you my planet Earth here. See if you can see it there. All right, I'm the Earth and for what it's worth, 25,000 miles is my curve. I've got more seven, I got more than 7 billion people living on me all over, amazing across my geography. Check out my mountains, my valleys, my trees so tall. And I've got lakes and rivers and waterfalls, volcanoes, craters, swamps with alligators, tropical islands are at my equator. Hmm, the North and South Poles have lots of ice, but let me tell you now, only polar bears will say how the weather is nice. I've got so much land yet, but I'm so immense. I've got seven, can you count them? Seven different continents, North and South America, Europe and Asia, Africa, Antarctica, and even Australia. But the biggest thing that everybody can see is I've got a lot of water all over me. I have oceans with lobsters, whales, and otters. Three quarters of me is covered with water. I orbit the sun, oh man, that's hot. And the moon orbits me, wow, that's so bright at night. I filled with life, both big and small, and I consider myself the most beautiful plant of all. Yeah, do you guys live on the planet Earth? Do you know the other planets too? Maybe. Mm, I still think Earth is the most is, is, is the most beautiful planet of all. Did you guys have fun today with Earth Day and our story today? I did too. But guess what? It's almost time to go. One more thing. I need you to guys to know. I know you've got some younger kids out there. Do you guys are you guys participating in our thousand books before kindergarten? Maybe. Well, you know what? This program is fun and exciting way to start you guys on a great path to reading success. Any child from birth to five can pick a can to log on and participate. And you can join by uh, selecting our bean stack and logging into it. Um, you can log each book that you read, and you can even use the books that we read during story time. And if you read the same book five times, guess what? You can log that book five times. Because so far, I've read this book like seven times just to get ready for you guys. So I can mark that down. Some of those books you can even read once you get to a thousand books, make an appointment with me and you can put your handprint on our giant tree here in the library. It is an enormous, beautiful literacy tree that we have in the library. So get your reading, get to join in the app and please read, read, read and join us here at the library. Okay. Now do me a favor. Can you wave them high? Wave them low. Guess what? I think it's time for us to go. Can you wave your fingers? Can you wave your nose? Wave your tongue. Wave your lips. Now blow a kiss with your fingertips. Can you wave your ears? Can you wave your hair? I guess what now? Turn around and wave your derriere. Yeah. Great job, guys. Thanks for joining me today.